And joining us is Dr. Sonu Alawalia. So we say that like it's Bob Smith now. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Sonu Alawalia is with us. Are you getting it down? Go ahead. Dr. Alawalia. There you go. Look at that. Rolls off the tongue. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just like to say doctor. This is a little frightening with this uh, meningitis thing. A lot of people go to get steroid shots for neck or back pain. There's some question as to whether they really work or not, but a lot of people do it, mm -hmm. and now they're getting sick from it. Yeah. So the, the, the interesting thing, which we all don't know, is about compounding pharmacies. Yes. Now, these are pharmacies that are, exist everywhere, and mm -hmm. about 10% of our drugs come from there. And the reason they exist is because sometimes you want doses that are stronger than what the FDA has approved right. to be shipped, right? right. So the doctor and, and, and a lot of people who are into uh, new age, uh, I integrative medicine, sure. go to compounding, but usually it's a local place on a corner. Exactly. Yeah. So, so these are not uh, necessarily, don't have oversight by the FDA. They are by the state pharmacies. Mm. So we're not really sure. I mean, the FDA, FDA has been trying for many years to try to get control of, you know, mm -hmm. and, and supervise these, but hasn't succeeded. So anyway, so these, these steroids were shipped from Massachusetts from a compounding pharmacy to you know multiple states and there are two centers in California and Encino and Palmdale that got these and injected patients with these I mean I don't know if they injected them but they were shipped mm. and all the infections have been linked to a fungus that was in the steroids how many uh this is New England Compounding Company, which sounds like it should be a small place, but they have national sales people. It's like yeah. a drug company. Exactly. Uh, do we know how many were shipped in total? We don't know. It could but affect a lot. hundreds yeah. to thousands of people. Yeah, right? exactly. And and the thing is, you know, this is the fungus infection. So so meningitis can be caused by fungus, bacteria, viruses. A fungus whole is the worst. Uh, well, fungus seems to be the slowest kind of growing. Mm. So it may take up to four weeks uh -huh. for it to do present. Do these people know that they could be affected? Well, that's what we're trying to do: is to let people know that if you're having symptoms of meningitis, which would be, uh, you know, pain in the neck, stiffness, uh, headaches, confusion, uh, you know, bright lights start to bother you, these kind of things are signs that there may be some irritation of the meninges, which is the lining of the brain. And also, of course, if you had this steroid shot. And if you had the steroid shot. So if you have any symptoms, please go to your so, doctor. So anybody who had the steroid shot by now should hear about this, right? Should yeah, have been well, contacted. Well, they said till, till September they were shipping it. So And, and part of a part of it is cheaper. I understand it's like $25 a vial as opposed to $45 a vial. Right. So so yeah. people are circumventing the system yeah. and, and maybe safety is because being Because pain clinics are a big business in this country. 25 years ago, they weren't. Right. And so you're looking for profit and they, they, right. this company helps make a profit. Right. I mean, I, you know, to be honest, I think we've done much better with our pain control because, mm -hmm. you know, 20 years ago, we were just like, right. you know, exactly. there's nothing we can do. But yes. I think on the other hand, we have to be careful and safety has Would to be Would you made. tell somebody who has a backache to get the steroid shots? It, forgetting this incident. It depends on what the reason is. But yes, steroid shots do work, but right. for the right but, reasons. Right. Yeah. Now, exactly. on to a big question. It's flu season, yeah. time for flu shots. Yeah. You're a pregnant woman. It is a tough decision to make. Well, it shouldn't be. But it is. Right, I yeah. know. And, and, and the reason is because we, we tell women who are pregnant, don't do this, don't do that, don't eat this, don't go here, mm -hmm. you know, oh my God, if you got a viral infection, this is a problem. So women are so afraid to get anything into their body when they're pregnant that oftentimes women don't get the flu shot. Now, uh, apparently, the rate is 53% of women are not vaccinated, pregnant women, hmm. which is a big deal. You know, we try to get our population up to a certain level mm -hmm. to have this immunity so we don't pass it on to others, but pregnant women are more susceptible because when you're pregnant, your immunity drops. And when your immunity drops, you're more likely to get the virus. I think where these women are coming from, say you've never gotten a flu shot right. in your life. Right. Which shouldn't be the case, by the way. Everybody should get the flu shot. And all shot. of a sudden you become pregnant yeah. and you're supposed to get a flu shot. That would be scary. I, I understand it would be. But what's also interesting is when your doctor tells you to get a flu shot and offers it to you, the women are much more likely to get the shot than hearing it from friends or relatives yeah. or even from the TV. But, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to encourage people. So you have no question in your practice. 100% yes. get yeah. the flu shot yeah. if you're pregnant. Yeah, yeah, get the yeah. flu shot. I'm one of those people and I know, I know, but I got a flu shot once. I got sick as a dog. Okay. And I know medically that makes no sense. Well, but a lot that, of people that, that say makes that. some sense, right? Right. right. Yeah. You can you right? can have myalgias, yeah. which is you know muscle ache and things like that, but they are very transient. They last v got, very like, short. Got the flu, flu. Oh, that it's not year. really the See? flu. Can, <laughs> Medicine says no, that could never happen. But <laughs> yeah. Well, there is no virus in the flu shot. Right. So, so you it has can't no explanation. get the flu. Right. It was my exactly. first job. I was all excited. I had insurance. I was like, right. yeah, shoot me up. Give me the flu shot. Well, you know, we can't work till we get a flu shot. 
healthcare workers are not allowed to work in mm. many hospitals. So you've had mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. every and, year. But, you know, at least talk to your doctor. That's the most important thing. All right. Okay. Dr. Alawalia, thank you so much. Always good to see Sorry you. Sorry to be a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, well, she's exercising a lot of choice. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All, right. All right. And stay away from me. <laughs> no, no, no. The truth, is, the truth is, another time you come back, we'll talk about the flu shot. Yeah. I have big question okay. personally about yeah. the flu yeah. shot. Yeah. Like, I would rather be healthy, have a strong immune system, and get a little touch of the flu, then maybe inject myself. Yeah, but you may be next to an immunocompromised person that you might give it to, and they that's may the, not have That's another yeah. segment. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Alawal. He's not pregnant, but he might yeah. be getting into that other bracket. Yeah. I'm feeling a little pregnant now. We go to football. Dr. Alawali, you want to jump in? I don't know. I'll stay away from this okay. <laughs> And the Saints finally won as Drew Brees broke the record for completions on this Matic Monday. We'll be back. Okay. You know you want to do it. <laughs> Come on. Over here, over here, over here. We got the doctor going here. Okay. <laughs>